Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel, Yamhem Educamix TV 25. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. So now we're going to tackle about the Filipino services to Spain. The Filipinos helped the Spaniards to remain and rule in the Philippines for more than three centuries. Without the cooperation of the Filipinos themselves, Spain could not have used our country as its base in Asia. Unfortunately, the foreigners got the best homes, best lands, and best jobs, and they made the decisions for us. The Filipinos had to obey them and we were not united or enlightened enough to break away from Spanish rule until the 19th century. The services of Filipinos during the 333 years when we were only a colony of Spain taught the Filipinos the values of endurance and service even under hard masters. The time of the Philippines under Spain was like the time of the Israelites as slaves under Egypt. So why did the Filipinos serve Spain? The Filipinos served Spain instead of serving their own countrymen because of three reasons. The first reason is that the Filipinos were not united. They did not think of themselves as one nation. So the Spaniards divided and conquered them. Spain played one tribe against another. For example, the Visayans were used to put down a revolt in the Tagalog region. The Christian Filipinos were used to fight against the Filipino Muslims or Moros and the pagan minorities. The second reason is the Filipinos were converted to Roman Catholic religion. So the Filipinos were thought to be loyal to the Spanish officials and priests who converted them and who defended that religion. The Filipinos fought on the side of Catholic Spain against the Muslims and the Protestant Dutch and British. The third reason is that the Filipinos were offered rewards and honors by the Spanish rulers. The Spanish plattered and took care of the loyal Filipinos. But they punished and killed the Filipinos who disobeyed or revolted. Loyal Filipinos were given positions in the local government as gobernador silios or little governors, and cabezas de barangay or barangay chiefs. Master of Camp Francisco Laxamana received the highest military honor given by Spain to a native. In June 1662, he became the military commander of Fort Santiago for 24 hours or one day. It was his reward for putting down the Third Chinese Revolt in 1662. Next is how did Filipinos serve Spain? So we will tackle about the Filipino services to Spain during Spanish era. First, Filipinos as farmers. Filipinos provided food for the Spaniards. It is not true that the Spaniards took away all the land from the Philippines. The lands owned by the religious orders and foreigners in the Philippines were small as compared to those owned by the wealthy Filipinos. But even in the farms owned by the Spaniards and other foreigners, the Filipinos became the real farmers. This was because the Spaniards did not like manual work. They thought it was shameful to be seen working in dirty jobs like digging, farming, cleaning, or carrying heavy loads. So the Filipinos tilled the land and raised foodstuffs and livestock. All the Spaniards, including the officials, priests, soldiers, and civilians, would have died of starvation if the Filipinos had not provided them with food. Next is Filipinos in Industries. The Filipinos became good builders of ships for the Spaniards during the Spanish era. So Filipinos worked in industries owned by the Spaniards. They constructed many galleons used in the Manila Acapulco trade and numerous galleys and frigates used by the Spaniards to fight their enemies. These ships were made of wood because there were good forests or timber in the Philippines. The shipyards were located at Cavite, Albay, Camarines, Marinduque, Masbate, and Mindoro. The ships built by the Filipino workers were of good quality. Next is Filipinos in the Portuguese Wars. Filipinos fought on the side of Spain against Portugal. 
The Portuguese attacked the early Spanish settlements in Cebu in 1568 and 1570. The Portuguese attacks were led by their governor in the Moluccas, which was then a Portuguese colony. But Raja Tupas and his Cebuano warriors remained loyal to Legazpi and fought on the side of Spain in these attacks. If they had not sided with the Spaniards, the Portuguese would have won and made the Philippines a colony of Portugal. Next is Filipinos in the expeditions to Borneo and the Moluccas. So the Filipinos joined the military expeditions to Borneo and the Moluccas. In March 1578, the Filipinos helped the Sultan of Brunei, Sultan Isrilila or Sirila, to regain his throne. Sultan Isrilila had complained to the Spanish Governor General that his brother had stolen his throne. So Governor Sandy ordered a military expedition to help the Sultan regain his lost throne. With a powerful expedition of 1,500 Filipinos, 400 Spaniards, and 300 Bornean warriors, they sailed to the island of Borneo. There, they fought and recaptured the city of Brunei. Sultan Srilila was returned to the throne, and his victory was due to the courage and fighting ability of the Filipinos. The military expeditions to the Moluccas were not as successful, but the Filipinos helped the Spaniards in this battle. At first, the expeditions were sent to try to capture the rich Moluccas or Spice Islands from the Portuguese. Later, they were sent to capture it against the Dutch who had taken over the Moluccas colony in the 17th century. Next is Filipinos in the Dutch Wars. Filipino fought on the side of Spain against the Dutch and British. Dutch naval squadrons attacked various places in the Philippines from 1600 to 1747. The Dutch wanted to make us a colony by defeating the Spaniards. At first, the Dutch ships blockaded Manila Bay. Then, the British became their allies and both the British and Dutch ships blockaded Manila from 1621 to 1622. When those tactics failed, the Dutch landed troops in Cavite and Abukay to try to capture these towns. They harassed the people in coastal areas. Finally, they tried to win the friendship of the Filipinos. But, the Filipinos remained loyal to Spain and Catholicism against the Protestant Dutch and British. So the results of Dutch wars were First, victory of the Spaniards against the Dutch. The Philippines remained a colony of Spain because the Filipinos helped the Spaniards against the Dutch invaders. Second result is that the Filipinos suffered tremendously. The Filipino population declined during the Dutch wars because many Filipinos were killed or ran to the hills. The third result is that the Philippine economy stagnated. Trade with Mexico, China and other countries was paralyzed. Filipinos left farms and industries to fight in the wars or to hide from them. The Filipinos paid the price of these costly wars. Next is Filipinos in Indochina. Filipinos joined the expedition to Indochina. It is interesting to note that the Filipinos helped France, another European power, to colonize Indochina in the 19th century. In 1858 to 1863, about 1,500 Filipino soldiers were sent by Spain to help its ally France to conquer the Vietnamese. The fighting skill of the Filipino was praised by the Spanish and French commanders. Many Filipinos remained in Vietnam after these wars. They married Vietnamese women and raised their children in Vietnam. Next is Filipinos in Taiwan. Filipinos joined the expedition to Taiwan. When the Spaniards tried to colonize Taiwan or Formosa in 1626 to 1642, the Filipinos also took part in these expeditions. Filipino and Spanish troops manned the two Spanish settlements in North Taiwan. However, they surrendered these garrisons on August 24, 1624. The Dutch took over the island of Taiwan or Formosa. 
Next is the Filipinos in the Marianas, Palaus, and Carolines. Filipinos helped to colonize the Marianas, Palaus, and Caroline Islands. The Marianas, Palaus, and the Carolines are island archipelagos in the Pacific Ocean near Mindanao. During the Spanish era, they were ruled by the Spanish governor in Manila and the Spanish bishop of Cebu. The Filipinos helped the Spaniards to make these islands a colony and a Catholic area. Many Filipinos went to Guam to settle down permanently in that island. In time, these Filipino immigrants married local women and raised families there. Filipino soldiers also helped to man the Spanish garrisons and to put down revolts of the local people. Next is Filipinos against the Chinese. The Chinese were welcomed in the Philippines because they were excellent artists and tradesmen during Spanish era. The Chinese were important to the economy of the country. Unfortunately, the Chinese revolted five times during the Spanish era in 1603, 1639, 1667, 1686, and 1762. The causes of these revolts were the bad treatment of the Chinese by the Spanish rulers. Here are some Spanish abuses against the Chinese. First, the Chinese were forced to pay heavy taxes. Spanish authorities taxed them heavily two times higher than the normal tax. Second, all Chinese were forced to live in the Parian or Chinatown outside the city walls. Parian was erected in 1581 by Governor General Gonzalo Ronquillo de Peñalosa. This is a place for Chinese outside the city walls. Third is, the Chinese were ordered to cut off their queues or long hair. Alam naman natin na ang mga Chinese ay, they used to have the long hair. Pero during the Spanish period, they were forced to cut it off. Fourth, many Chinese were deported to reduce their population. And lastly, the Chinese were massacred every time they revolted. So ito yung mga abuses na ginawa ng mga Espanyol sa mga Chinese at ito rin yung rason kung bakit nag ang mga Chinese against the Spaniards. All these Chinese revolts failed because the Filipinos sided with the Spaniards. The greatest Filipino hero of the Chinese revolts was Francisco Laxamana, commander of the Pampanganyo troops in the Spanish army. He defeated the Chinese rebels in the hills of Antipolo in June 1662 and saved the city of Manila. As a reward, Laxamana was made commander of Fort Santiago for 24 hours. This was the highest military honor given by Spain to a Filipino during the Spanish era. In 1574, when the Chinese pirate Lim Ahong invaded Manila, the Spaniards saved the city with the help of the Filipinos. Later, about 1,500 Filipino soldiers, including Lacandula and his sons, helped Marshal Juan de Salcedo drive away Limahong from Pangasinan. Next is Filipinos and the Moro Wars. The word Moro in the Spanish means a Muslim. The Filipino Moros in Mindanao and Sulu were not conquered by Spain. Many times the Moros were defeated in battles but they won the war in the end. Out of loyalty to Spain in the cross, the Christian Filipinos from Luzon and Visayas fought against the Filipino Moros from those wars. Thousands of Christian Filipinos died in these battles. They served as soldiers or seamen in all the Spanish expeditions against the Moros. The Christian Filipino heroes of these wars were Juan Aquino, Nicolas Martinez, Cirilo Maipet, and Jeronimo Sundulin. In retaliation for these Spanish attacks, the Filipino Moros raided the coastal towns of the other islands as far north as Ilocos. They burned the churches, killed the Christians, and took slaves whom they sold in slave markets of Celebes, Malacca, and Jakarta. The Filipino Muslims also had their heroes. Those who defended Islam and Moro independence were 
First is Sultan Kudarat, the greatest warrior of Mindanao who defended Lamitan against the Spaniards in 1637. Next is Sultan Jamalul Alam who defended Hulu in 1876 and leased North Borneo or Sabah to the British in 1878. Third is Dato Oto who defended Cotabato in 1886 to 1887. Fourth is Dato Amay Pakpak who defended Lanao in 1889 to 1891. And lastly, Dato Piang or Amal Minka who conquered Cotabato in Tamuntaka in 1878 to 1899. So they were the Filipino Muslim heroes during Spanish period. From this topic of the help given by the Filipinos to the Spaniards during the Spanish era, we have learned that without the cooperation of the Filipinos, Spain could not have ruled our country for more than three centuries. Then, the Filipinos served Spain because of three reasons. Lack of unity among Filipinos, the Catholic religion, and rewards and honors given to Filipinos who cooperated with Spain. Another thing that we have learned is that the Filipinos rendered the following services to Spain. They provide food for the Spaniards, they work in various industries and help Spain, and they fight in the armed forces of Spain against other Filipinos and foreigners. We have learned also that the Filipinos under Spain was like the time of the Israelites as slaves in Egypt. We became almost like slaves in our own land. We learn the value of endurance, service, and hope in God. So ito po yung mga Filipino services to Spain. So I hope that you have learned something. At kapag may mga information po kayo na related into this topic na hindi ko po na-mention in this video, and also pag may mga questions din kayo regarding this topic, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Let's learn together. So this is your teacher May leaving the message of Theodore Roosevelt The more you know about the past the better prepared you are for the future So that's all Thank you so much